Today's procedure involves um, a patient that has mu multiple, uh, what we call ground glass nodules in his lungs. What that means is that there are spots in the lungs, but they're not solid. Uh, when nodules are not solid, they may be very difficult to identify uh, by palpation. The Achilles heel of the detection of lung cancer, if you will, has been trying to identify it at an early stage. Once we have a suspicious spot in the lung, how do we safely and efficiently determine whether or not it's lung cancer? I've seen people undergo lung cancer surgery through very large incisions that involve the removal of a portion of the rib and spreading the ribs apart. And that uh, is associated with a uh, much higher uh, pain scores and a much more prolonged hospital stay, as well as a prolonged recovery time. A full 95% of all of our lung cancer surgery is done robotically. Uh, it's done minimally invasively. Using the ION robot allows us um, to target those nodules, biopsy them, determine whether or not they are cancer or whether or not they're not cancerous, but do so in a safe fashion. With the um, Da Vinci uh, XI robot, uh, we are able to um, see structures in the chest in three dimensions. We're able to uh, perform these surgeries with much lower blood loss than through other methods. We're able to perform a more extensive lymph node dissection. Uh, we're doing it through smaller incisions. And these uh, patients have a much shorter uh, hospital length of stay. Uh, when we think about the impact that robotic bronchoscopy is going to have, coupled with the XI robot, we're going to be able to uh, see more and more patients at an early stage. And I think that you will see the historically poor outcome associated with lung cancer change for the better. We have the tools, we have the expertise, and we have the team commitment to affect the best care possible.